Okay, Redifus keeps sending me radios. We're going to review this one today. Um, this is a model RT95. So it's a dual band uh, ham radio. So give that one a try. Um, instruction manual. Uh, looks like a lot of the other radios I've looked at. Uh, comes with a bracket. Uh, comes with a microphone. Uh, nice microphone, nice big A, B button. Uh, it feels good in the hand. It feels, uh, it feels quality. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, it's got some status lights and stuff on it. It looks interesting. All right. Uh, came with a programming cable. Um, USB to, uh, the RJ11 on the front. I think it's probably an RJ11, anyway. And uh, power connectors and screws and stuff. All right. Um, it's got a fuse. All right, let's uh, move these boxes out of the way. Everything's always in the way. Take it out of the plastic here. Take its little... Uh... So we have a nice uh, power button. Uh, knob, it does click, and uh, external speaker connector. All right, let's put some power on it and uh, see what it looks, see what the display looks like. It is a um, two meter 440. Let's see where are the specifications. Uh, 144 to 146, one, three, uh, 430 to 440, 200 channels, different channel spacings. Um, let's see, receiver, receiver sensitivity, 0.25 microvolts, 0.35 microvolts. Uh, let's see here. 2 watt audio output, that's pretty healthy. Transmitter, here we go. So it's uh, 25 watt, 15 watt, and 5 watt. 5, 15, 25. So that's what we're going to test today. We'll test that and we'll test its spurious uh, suppression. Uh, all of the redivices I've tested so far have been passing with flying colors, so I don't expect anything else of this one. It feels, it feels good. Big cast aluminum, uh, cast aluminum heat sink on it. And uh, yeah, let me find some, uh, I'm gonna need a lot of current for this thing, so let me, uh, uh, let me run over and put some wires on this thing. All right, let's turn it on. Ooh, very loud. All right, uh, A and B, C, VXO. Looks like there's a, some programmed uh, Program things here, function button for the menu, probably. Okay. Yeah, as I hit function, you can see each of these is now assigned to different uh, things like power. So power low, power medium, power high. So since we know how to do that, why don't we go ahead and hook it up, give it a try. Um, yeah, display looks pretty good. Very readable over different angles. Uh, looks like good font. So, yeah, they're getting better. All right, I have it hooked up to my uh, radio test set. Um, so we will transmit at low power, 4.8 watts. Okay. Uh, let me go to function power. Okay, here's medium watt, 13.8. And let's go to high power, 22.1, looking good. And we're drawing about 10 amps, something like that. So very nice. Let's try it on uh, 440. Let's see if I can figure out how to do that. All right, I changed it to 445. 5.15, so let's go ahead and 
we'll do the low power again. Okay, low power is 4.9. Mid power, 15.2. And high power is 24.6. So very, very good. All right, so passes the, uh, passes the power test. All right, um, so I have the radio here. Uh, this is what the uh, microphone looks like lit up. It's got red, red lettering here and some blue things and some indicator lights weren't, were on A, I flop it would go to B. So A is 440, I mean uh, two meters and B is uh, 440 so we can just swap back and forth. And uh, yeah, I'll we'll transmit. So let's go ahead and set this up for uh, low power again. We'll do, uh, we'll start with two meters and we will set it to low power. Now I'm gonna be transmitting into a 30 watt, 30 dB pad. So at 25 watts, we're gonna go, it's gonna knock it down to about plus, what is it, plus 12? I just did the calculation off camera, what was it? It's gonna be about plus 14. Yeah, so we're gonna have plus 14 coming out the other side, but the, uh, this particular box can handle plus 14. I can handle up to plus 30, but I think plus 14 is probably fine. We're only going to be transmitting for a very short period of time. So I think everything's going to be fine. Uh, so at low power, we'll have no problems, of course. So let's go ahead and transmit. And you can see we'll get a big spike there. Okay, so let's tell this thing that it's got a 30 dB offset. Okay. And then let's um, have our... Let me transmit. Yeah, let's have our reference up to plus 40. Uh, let's see here, 40. There we go. And we're catching the peak there. So let me put it on um, trace uh, max hold. And you can see we're getting uh, the carrier and then nothing. Let's zoom in a little bit of that. Let's go, well, this is all the way to three gigahertz. Let's go up to say 800 megahertz or 500 megahertz. Uh, no, it's gotta be farther than that. Let's go to, let's go to one megahertz right now. It doesn't really matter. No, nah, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Um, so we're at least um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. We're about 50 dB down. Uh, there's no, no carrier at all there, okay? So let's go to power of mid. Okay, so now we're mid. We're probably gonna go up off the top, so let me set the reference. Um, we're gonna go off the top, yeah. Uh, let me set the reference. Amplitude, uh, reference. Uh, where's my reference? Uh, sheet. Amplitude. Come on. I was just looking at it. 30 dB attenuator. Reference. Oh, here we go. Uh, reference offset. We'll do. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Where did it go? I just had it. Oh, reference low. Right at the tops. There we go. I'm just blind. Sorry. So there it is. Um, and again, very, very clean everywhere else. And uh, we can do a peak detect on that. And we can change the units. It, it's measuring 41 dB. Um, we can change the units to watts, but we've already measured that before. All right, and let's do power of uh, high. And there we go, it went up a little bit. This is all in logarithmic and again, no, no nothing. There's maybe a little bit, little tiny guy there, but it certainly, Certainly this is a clean radio, okay? At least on two meters. So let's test, let's test 440. Okay, so we'll go to 440. Let me do the uh, trace clear. Let's do max hold again. Transmit, there we go. Nothing going on. And uh, let's see, function power. That's low power, mid power, nothing and high power. Let's see here, clear right. Is the power going up? Let's see, it's power on the, uh, I probably guess, but I don't know how to do it. All right, let me change, oops. 
power low. But I'll oh, do a peak. Oh, I need to transfer down. We'll do a peak. All right, 36 dB. We'll do power mid. 40 dB, and then we'll do a high. Yeah, 42. Okay, there we go. So, very, very clean. As expected, all the Redivus radios that I've measured so far have been very, very clean. They're pretty honest in output power, and they're very clean in spectral power. So I know everybody likes to look inside, so I expect this one to look pretty much the same as the other ones, but yeah, let's, uh, let's take a peek. All right, I've taken out four screws and the lid should just come off. Got my fingernail in there. It's a nice tight fit. All right, ah. All right my fingernail failed me. <laughs> I need something thinner. Like I said, it's a tight fit. There we go. Got it. Oops, speakers on this one. Uh, this is plastic, but the, everything else is cast aluminum. Yeah, so let's, uh, this one looks different inside. Nice. Good thing we went in here. So there's some cool uh, transmission lines inside here. Here's the filtering section. They always have a very aggressive filtering section, so that's good. Here's the final uh, amplifier right here. Get something to point with so you don't have to look at my fingers. Uh, yeah, here's the amplifier, and here's the uh, uh, 440 filter and the 2 meter filter. You can tell because these are little inductors and these are big inductors. Uh, looks like there's a couple ferrite beads here to keep uh, RF from out of, the, out of the amplifier. Okay, let's see here. What else can we see? Wow, this one's really, really clean inside. Amazing. There's really not a lot of stuff in here. Hmm. Let me, uh, let me zoom down a little bit farther here so you can see, see stuff. Yeah. Looks pretty nice. Let's see if this is it worth the driver. Comes so, wow, everything's so tiny on this one. Wow. Yeah, here's a, here's an IC. Wow, there's really not much going on in here at all. It's amazing. There's a big chip here, which is probably the audio amplifier. And there's an amplifier, I mean, a, a chip over here, 1517, whatever that is. And then the, uh, all the smarts and stuff are here on the front panel with a little tiny connector on it. But yeah, wow, there's not, there's not much going on in this radio. It's super, super clean. Wow, what a nice design. Hmm. Yeah, I think here's the driver, pre-driver. Like this looks like the uh, pre-driver here and then it goes into the, the power amplifier and comes out. Wow, very nice. And then the receive path, difficult to say, but probably somewhere in here, I don't know. Super, super clean. All right, well, there you go. Another Redivus radio. Uh, I think this will appeal to a lot of people. Uh, got a lot of uh, ham radio people on the channel. And uh, this looks like a nice little, uh, nice little dual bander for sure. All right, that was my review of the Redivus model RT95. Put a link down below.